Welcome to the University of Chester. I have been VC here since 2020, and I am determined that your experience at Chester gives you the very best features of all those different types of university. First and foremost, your choice of university is your course or programme of study. What really fires you up? What can you see yourself getting deeply into? And once you've found this, you want to be with others who share this passion. And we know how important it is for you to meet in person, to debate, discuss and learn from each other together with your tutor's support. So our ambition is that you leave here as a genuine subject expert, but we also focus on your digital skills and teach you how to operate in a data-rich world. We also ensure you experience cutting-edge research and understand through our academics how new knowledge is created. Some universities make students wait until year three to get into research. We're far more proactive here at Chester. And of course, you need to be able to relate your programme to the world outside. Chester's a medium-sized university. This means you'll always be an individual here. You'll be amongst a really interesting international community with students from 115 countries. Our values are very strong. And we're particularly interested in helping you develop your identity in society. What sort of citizen are you going to be? How can you help improve society for the better using your unique skills? You're accepted for who you are or want to be at Chester. We have a welcoming LGBTQ plus society and lots of equality networks, including a staff student group for race equality, which I established deliberately as a challenge group with the right to actually challenge the culture and processes of the university to ensure they're fair for all. Our student services disability and inclusion team is absolutely fantastic. Quite simply, the best I've ever worked with. So you are in safe hands here. And you will love Chester. It's a perfect sized city to get to know in your time here. I overheard a student at graduation saying, I love Chester, how can I move back here? Our surveys show that this is the view of most of our departing students. Because of this, I'm working with the council on a graduate housing project. And the purple flag status means Chester's been judged as one of the safest cities in the UK. We work very closely with Cheshire Police and the local authority. For example, ensuring we have a CCTV network which actually works. We have community policing and very low levels of antisocial behaviour in Chester and indeed in our own student body. I can certainly vouch for the fact that Chester is very student friendly and it's increasingly proud of its status as a university city. Chester's cultural, it's accessible and in effect it is our campus. Students make the most of the whole city not just the area they live or study, so they're never bored with a small campus experience or at a loss what to do with their spare time. For example, all our courses enable you to think about global issues and develop relevant sustainability expertise. Now, this might be hands-on in the university allotment, but it's just as likely to be using social sciences to challenge policies or helping test new technology, which could be deployed to resolve environmental problems like pollution or the loss of species. We're also at the centre of exciting new research into hydrogen fuel and carbon capture and storage, sectors getting more than £20 billion of funding in the government's 2023 budget. Now, I want to come back to you and the affordability of higher education. We're well aware of the challenges of cost of living and so have developed a unique earn-as-you-learn offer. This means that our employability service will help you get part-time work if you want to earn during your course, and very importantly, we help you draw out the transferable skills from this work. So it's not just for cash, but it develops your CV. You might also be able to work at the university, where our uni job scheme has lots of possibilities. And of course, we are very, very successful at getting you into work placements related to your programme through our network of thousands of national and indeed international employers of every size and sector. We are genuine about our ability to help you develop a personal career plan. And since I know many of you have had an education badly disrupted by COVID, we now promise lifelong career support once you graduate. This is one way that we bring to life the idea of Chester as a real community. Another key element of our university strategy is our focus on what we call social capital. It might not be a term familiar to you, but for example, how easy do you find talking among strangers or making a presentation? We can help you with this. Do you know how to create a network that will help your career and your interests during and after university? This all builds your social capital. So we have a whole series of social capital workshops and events about other cultures, global challenges and ways of networking. You can also learn a language with us, whatever your course, or take up volunteering, whether for just a few hours or a longer term commitment. 
This is yet another way we connect you into the real world. So what we are looking for at Chester are students who will make an impact, who get involved and use their student voice through all our channels. Whether your personality is loud or quiet, there will be a way to make your opinions known and we will hear them. And in your department, get to know your personal tutor and take every advantage of all the extra talks, events and trips they lay on for you. Now, I mentioned our outstanding student support. Here's a list of just a few of the ways we help you make the most of university. And you're all different. So the support comes in lots of ways, from a 24-7 helpline and a fantastic Healthy Advantage app, which helps you set goals and challenges for your well-being, through to traditional face-to-face -face meetings with tutors, chaplains and other support specialists. Our Chester networks make sure we also focus on our commuting students, those who've experienced care or indeed are carers themselves, our mature students and those who are parents. You will be able to find your people at Chester. And of course, sport and physical activity brings people together. As you would expect, there are plenty of opportunities to be active at Chester. We do have elite sport, of course, and I hope some of you are interested in this. We also have regionally competitive sport, for example, the annual varsity, with Salford University, which I'm very proud to say we've won this year. But we also have a huge focus on sport for fun and inclusion and para sport. Wheelchair basketball with the Cheshire Phoenix is a highlight, for example. Now, I mentioned how important it is to hear the student voice at Chester. So you can imagine how pleased we are to have been shortlisted for nine awards by What Uni. All except one was based on student opinion and vote across all these different categories. And the one on cost of living was an invited submission about how much we have managed to help students in the past year. And finally, let's talk about graduation, which we hold in the splendid surroundings of Chester Cathedral. An incredibly large proportion of our graduates return for graduation six months after they finished. And I think it's because they want to come back to Chester and relive the good times, if just for one day. And they recognise our commitment that if you come to Chester, you will be a unique, well-connected graduate with a community for life. I hope I've given you a flavour of the high quality experience you will get at the University of Chester. Please do take the next steps identified here. And I very much hope to welcome you onto campus before too long. Thank you.